that. Now, Keith Duffy is the boy's own star turned soap actor who continues to charm everyone on the cobbles as Kieran McCarthy in Coronation Street. Yes, we caught up with him to talk about hanging out with Tom Cruise, X Factor, and breaking the US. I try to laugh, but I just weep. Something about you gets me so deep inside. Yes, from wowing legions of screaming fans as one quarter of Boy Zone to breaking hearts on the street as Kieran McCarthy in Kari. It's safe to say that Keith Duffy is a very busy man. But he did make the time to jet in to support the Subaru World Record attempt in aid of Autism Ireland and the ISPCA, where he told us all about hanging out with Tom Cruise at the night and day after party in London earlier this week. He's cool, he's just too good to be true, you know. He's a nice guy, he's always nice, never... So you don't know if you're actually getting the real person or whether it's just kind of, you know, tinsel town smile. You know what I mean? But what you know, legend isn't he? A living legend. I mean, he was telling me he has his own uh, fighter jet and his own license. You know, he does aerobatics and all this. I mean, does all his own stunts. I mean, how much fun would that be? Oh, Jesus, it'd be great. Yeah, great. Terrifying. Same difference, really. But death to find stunts aside, for now, Keith's happy enough to promote Boyzone's latest album, Brother, and to help out bandmate Ronan with his Australian X Factor judging duties. The rest of the lads in the band are getting involved with the Australian X Factor, and Ronan's bringing his contestants to Ireland, and uh, we're all going to be their, uh, their chaperones, let's say, and uh, get involved in that, in that way. And from brand new music stars to old school pop heavyweights, now Robbie's back with his Alpha Matter. Surely that's got to have real ignited some serious rivalry between Boyzone and Take That. Take That are, are, are a very, very well re-established act and Boyzone are still trying to re-establish themselves. So they're, they're streets ahead of us at this moment in time and to be honest with you, we just enjoy what we do and we're not putting ourselves in competition with anybody. If we're lucky enough to have a little bit of success that will keep us together and keep us going, to be honest, I'll be happy with that. To have their type of success would be just a dream come true. Ah, don't worry, Keith. You and the boys are well on your way. But Boyzone aside, we've heard Carnation Street's only Paddy has been asked to stay on the cobbles for the big 50th anniversary this year. Yeah, well, I have. I mean, I was supposed to have left Curry already, and I, st I decided to stay for another six months because the 50th anniversary storylines are starting, and they asked me to be very much involved in that. And it would be an honour to be part of the show 50 years old and to be in the show for that anniversary. You know, I'm the only Paddy in the show, and it's, um, it's, uh, it's good to be part of it. But it seems Keith's not stopping in Manchester when it comes to acting. He's set his sights a little further across the pond. Well, I'm very ambitious, and and um, I love the acting, I have to say, I really do. And I love American television. You know, if anybody, everybody has dreams, you know, and, and one of my dreams would be to work on American TV. I think the camera direction, the scripts, the, just the money, the budget they have to make these shows is phenomenal compared to what we have in Ireland or in the UK. And um, I'm a big fan of The Wire, CSI Miami, Grey's Anatomy, you know, Desperate Housewives, dare I say it, Cougar Town, dare I say it. But I do, I love all those American shows. And to get an opportunity to be in one of them would just, you know, for me would be a bit of a goal, a dream. So there you have it, folks. Don't be surprised if you see our Keith wandering down with Syria Lane in the near future. He's a charmer.